I removed my passenger seat living in a minivan in the summer. Well, I'm going to start getting ready because it's afternoon. It's going to be hot today. And I want to get back to all the things that I know because we've had good monsoon this year in Arizona. Upper Arizona, lower Arizona, middle Arizona. We've had a really good um, monsoon. So in the afternoon, it would cool down. No more. The sun is up and it's going to be that way all week and it's going to be upper 80s. And in a minivan, that's a big deal. So I've got my bucket and I am going to um, get some water in here and start getting some things soaked up. Now, I do have my, my bathing suit on. I've got shorts on. I've got my bathing suit bottoms under there. These are still a little damp from um, when I went swimming. But let me just show you how I'm going to stay cool. Net gator, arm gator, shirt. And this is going to keep me cool for a while. Okay. Bring it out a little bit. Yeah, boy. I'll tell you, it's, um, take this off. this back on. There we go. Okay, this. I'm going to put my arm gaze on. These really do not only protect my arms from the sun and from bumping them so much, but also from it, it's nice and wet. one extra thing to keep not only protect my arm but keep it moist for the sun now this shirt this is going to be like oh my gosh when I put it on <laughs> this will keep me cool for at least a couple hours Hey, oh, it's cold. That's that's a cold. There we go. Okay, put these glasses back on so I can see just a little bit better. Okay, this is water. Let's get this on. There we go. Okay, I'm nice and cool. Yes, I am. Here's my spray bottle. If I need to keep this wet, I can just keep spraying. Now that it's already wet, I can keep spraying this down a little bit. Ooh, yeah. Time to get serious with this wet business, yeah. Put this up. There was a little bit of water left. I put my wash rag in there. So, I'm in my minivan right now. We, um, Paul and I went to IHOP and he had his breakfast. I didn't eat anything. I just kind of drank, uh, some, um, water and I did have a small soda. It kind of settled my stomach a little bit. Yeah. Um, so I feel a lot better. I removed my passenger seat. Well, I removed it like four years ago, <laughs> but this is where my passenger seat, here's my driver's seat. This is where my passenger seat would go or did go. And this bin is so full that I can kind of sit on it. I mean, I'm pretty light, but I bet if you were heavier, you could still sit on it because there's so much in there. Kind of cozy, huh? You know, sometimes what I can do is I can put my um, collapsible sink down if I want to soak my feet. I mean, sometimes if I'm not around where I can't get a shower, the feet do have to be soaked every once in a while. And I've got a little bit left of Epsom salts and I just soak my feet. I can sit here on the phone and get my feet soaked 
and then I can kind of do my little pedicure. But I found out also that I could use my Marie Osmond uh, a gym exercise gym thing and I can do it I actually did it here one time and I can do it the only one is I couldn't lift up really high up here but I could do these exercises and pull and things like that using it you know I can just sit here I mean really I can just sit here and uh, it's another place to said it's another view it's another um, way to view my minivan but yeah, I can actually sit here and I've got this fan going. So I'm going to go around and I want to show you what it looks like from this side. And maybe we can look and just see what these bins are all about. You know, I'm pretty cool now. Let's just look at it from the inside. I've got this bin here. What I do when I want to get in here, it's kind of broke here. You can see it's broke, but that's okay. It still works. But I can lift in and I can see what's going on in here. There's food in here and there's some extra um, butane. And I think there's a couple of propanes in here. But here, then there's this. This is sitting on another bin here. So that's why I wanted to show you. Let's put this back over here. This is a great table for me. I've got my Jackery here. This is my solar plug. It's coming from the inside through the window and over to here. So this is bringing in. It's only bringing one watt in because I'm under covered parking. But while I was at IHOP, it was out in the sun and it zipped it, it zapped it up from like 64 to 87. So it's 87 percent right here. And I've got other things I can plug in here, but this makes a nice table. So I'm going to go around and show you what I got under here, why I've got this cover on it, and maybe just let you see like what's in here and what's under the bottom one. So let's go around and let's check it out. Okay, these are my bins. This is the one with the food in it. It's my Jackery. This is that top bin, and I'll show you it, and this is the bottom bin. It's one of those old blue ones. I think they still sell them, but um, yeah. And then, let me bounce over here. I keep my water in here. It can hold seven gallons. I can fit seven gallons under there. So let's go ahead and look at this one. What I do with this is I use this as a table. And I keep things on here, especially when I drive, that I might need. My lip gloss. I have some pepper spray. I have my tactical pen, and that's in case I need to punch out my window. Or if somebody sneaks their face in there, bam, if my window's down. This I've had forever. It's a kind of a light let me see sure everything is off there we go keep a comb some Altoids a case for my sunglasses reading glasses in case I ever I'm sitting um, here and let's say I'm driving and you know I get pulled over and I need to uh, I don't want to be grasping for things because it makes it makes um, the police officers nervous if you're trying to grab things, you know. So I try to keep these handy. I got some odd change here. I keep meaning to take this into Walmart so I can get rid of it. It's just like nickels and dimes and um, pennies. And then I've just got a case for my... And another case, I have two of these. So the reason I keep this on here is because I don't like looking at this. I don't like clutter. And I mentioned clutter. I do not like clutter. I don't like clutter at all. Then here, I keep this on here. It's a non-slip material. 
and these are most of my sunglasses. I also have some older ones that I don't wear as much, but I didn't want to get rid of them. They're in here. See how much nicer this looks? When I'm in my minivan in the back, I do not want to, I don't like to look at clutter. It, it, it bothers my mind. I believe an uncluttered area produces an uncluttered mind. <laughs> this is all really wet. I am so cool right now. I've got my shade up here. But what I have seen, I keep my hat right there. What I have seen walking around um, the parking lots where people are parked, and if I can look in, their windshield, the, um, the dashboard, is inundated with junk that would drive me insane how about you leave a comment if that's how you feel it would it would i would not be able to think properly i don't understand how my windshield my uh, dashboard is completely um cleaned off except for this hat that i can put my hat on real quick I'm going to take the hood off of this, the lid. Put this on the ground. And kind of get a view. There's all kind. I got my, I got my squirt guns. <laughs> There's just all kinds of stuff in here. Hats. Bungee cords. These are all my water filters in case I need to use these in a pinch. The wind's blowing a little bit. There's just a menagerie. Here's an extra purse if I feel like taking this in instead of my tactical pack. It's a power bank in case I need that. And this is pretty easy just to put right back on. noisy it looks like the wind's kicking up and there's a train going by over here but now I can take this whole it's not too heavy and I can just take this out this is Paul's van right here I'm gonna slide this under for a moment I'm gonna show you what's in here this is sort of like a garage area things you might keep in a garage but this right here is where my passenger seat was removed from. This is it. How did I get my passenger seat out? It was not easy. Um, I did not do it myself. On this particular van, when I was in Quartzsite, I took it to, I think it's called A1 um, Auto Repair, something like that. And I paid them, but they only charged me like $30. It was very minimal. And they took out all my seats. And they kept them. And they did keep this one. He goes, this is going to go in the break room. <laughs> so, because um, it was an, it's a nice seat, comfortable seat. Now, on my other Kia, what happened was I was in Ohio. And I just thought, you know, I'm tired of this seat. I, I could use this space for other things. So, I couldn't get it out. I could not get the bolts free. So I took it to my mechanic and he didn't charge me anything, but he had to use his air gun to get it out because the bolt was on so tight. It was a 2006 and it was on pretty tight. So um, it had plenty of years just to like seize up, you know? So this one is old, it's cracked, but it still is functional. This has taken a beating, <laughs> but it still works, right? Yeah. Now these I wanted to get out. These are my chill pads and it's gonna be hot all this week. So I wanna get these out and uh, soak them up and get them put 
and after they're wet and then put them over i wring it out really good but put it over my jackeries so i'm going to kind of just kind of toss these in there i need to do that well what else do i have this is my high boost um this is for cell coverage this, it, it increases your cell coverage okay so i keep this handy because i've been using it it works really good high boost yeah i got tape in here all kinds of tape more tape this is just um fleece it's the same color as this i just i not don't want to get rid of it i might need it i'm just going to show you a few things in here what i keep in here this is a music player my sister sent me These are things that I would keep in a garage if I had a home. This is a, a tire inflator. This is a very good thing. Tire inflator. I've used it. And I've used it a few times. What's it? Oh, more tape. I have so much tape. And I only get Gorilla tape. My hiking boots. This is still really good. I don't wear these very much, but they're Bosque. Very, very nice, high quality boots. And they've still got good tread on them. I'm just showing you a few things in here. But look at the spray. I mean, I would not be able to fit these on here if I still had my passenger seat. What's this? These are cords for my jackeries and things like that. Jump starter. There's shoes. Here's a nice raincoat. And in this bag here, it's a black bag, are like all, um, My gun cleaning kit. WD-40 silicone for my windows. I'll show you that at some point. More water, Rain-X waterless car wash. Funnel. Power steering fluid. WD-40 regular. Looks like some of this is kind of icky. It looks like some came out. I saw, I had this, I've had this since Ohio. And this is really good. A uh, new finish. You only have to put it on once a year all over your car. It's really, it's by, um, well, it's called Soft Paste New Finish. Well, that's what's in this, this uh, blue. This is at the bottom. I mean, how useful is that? Remove the passenger seat. I don't, I don't carry anybody with me. Although I have carried Paul and Abby in the back of my van. <laughs> I have. When uh, in Tucson, when we had to go, he had needed to uh, get his uh, uh, um, window shades up up by a really nice company. They have this car for like a couple hours, so they hopped in the back, and we went to a park and. Well, this is um, my seat removal and keeps my clutter. I wanted to show you that I keep clutter down in my minivan. 
I hate clutter. I hate looking at things like that. Let me see if I can get everything back. Let's get this dilapidated. <laughs> Sometimes to put it on right, I have to pull this out. There we go. Sometimes there's a lot of shifting that has to go on, but this isn't too bad. And as long as, what I like to do is get in my bins periodically to remind myself what's in there. Because sometimes I forget, but at least I know what's in here. Now you know kind of what's in there too. So I think this is a good system. I removed my passenger seat a few years ago and I have not regretted it. It's given me a lot more space. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and it really does help if you subscribe. Just hit that subscribe button. I dare you, I dare you, challenge you to do it. Go to minivanlee.com to find videos on exercises and neck gaiters, arm gaiters, and don't forget about my book, um, How to Live in a Minivan, The Minivan Lee Way. It's on Amazon. Just type in Minivan Lee, I come up. So you have a really good day. Till tomorrow, bye.